Russia claimed that the mass production of the S-70 Okhotnik stealth fighter drone will begin immediately after undergoing its maiden flight test in 2021. Russian President Vladimir Putin recommended that the mass production of the S-70 Okhotnik stealth drone begin in 2023. We will take the Okhotnik system off the mass production in 2023, and we will transfer it to the Ministry of Defense, said Sergei Chemzov, Rostec's chief executive. Sergei Chemzov revealed that the Okhotnik Hunter stealth drone was developed to have a distinctive ground management system that separates it from other combat drones. The Okhotnik also uses a typical flat nozzle propulsion system and minimal radar visibility. Stealth. Stealth. The Okhotnik Combat Drone, built by the Sukhoi Design Bureau, combines stealth technology and a flying wing design that lowers radar detection. According to accessible sources, the Okhotnik Combat Drone has a takeoff weight of 20 tons and can fly at a speed of roughly 1,000 kilometers in flash. Okhotnik made its first flight on August 3, 2019. The flight took more than 20 minutes under the supervision of an operator. On 27 September 2019, Okhotnik flew in a fifth generation Su-57 fighter. The Alcotnik combat drone moved through the air in automated mode at a height of roughly 1,600 meters, and the flight took more than 30 minutes. Mass deliveries of Okhotnik drones to Russian forces were slated to commence in 2024. Russia has great aspirations for the S-70 Okhotnik to add to its military capability. The Okhotnik fighter drone is now demonstratively on its path to becoming a true low observable fighter. The S-70 Okhotnik stealth fighter drone flies with Russia's fifth generation Su-57 fighter jet. Photos slash Bulgarian military. Thomas Mueller and Tyler Rogoway, co-authors of the drone, state in their essay that Russia has gathered expertise and anticipates the S-70 to have a very extended flying time in the air and deliver enormous amounts of war cargo. The technology tested on this prototype will be employed in the construction of other prospective aircraft systems, both manned and unmanned, stated Russian Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Krivorichko, implying that the design and testing of the Okhotnik might inform the design of the next strategic model. How powerful is the Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik drone, one of the world's first faithful weapons? heavy and stealth drone, and Russia's most durable UCAV. According to the Moscow Russian Satellite News Agency, Russia's S-70B Hunter heavy stealth attack drone recently launched an air-to-ground missile fitted with a Su-57 stealth fighter jet at a ground target during a test flight, according to sources acquainted with the subject. No. During flight tests, the S-70B prototype was subjected to missile tests. The Hunter also deploys numerous Su-57 air-to-surface missiles, firing direct fire against ground targets. In general, military UAVs that are currently being developed by major world powers are largely for reconnaissance, ground attack, intelligence gathering, and other missions. Several types of aircraft can execute air-to-air -air combat missions. However, coming from behind in this field has sacrificed the big killer, a heavy stealth reconnaissance slash fighter. Attack aircraft, S-70 Okhotnik, also known as the Hunter B, Hunter S-70 UAV fighter. It can be claimed to be one of the most powerful UAV currently deployed by Russia. This aircraft was created and developed by the famed Sukhoi Aircraft Company and constructed by the Novozaversk Aircraft Factory. The project started in 2011 and was officially approved by the Russian Ministry of Defense in April 2012. The first successful flight was in August 2019. Expected service time is around 2024. The S-70 Hunter drone has an empty weight of roughly 20 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 25 tons. This weight is regarded to be the largest in the field of military drones so far, and the U.S. Global Hawk is no more than that, at roughly 10 tons. This airplane has a wingspan of 19 meters and a length of 14 meters. The internal magazine can carry 2.8 tons of various armaments and ammunition, including a variety of guided and non-directed projectiles, air-to-surface, air-to-air, and weaker versions of hypersonic missiles. Last year, the plane 
carry out a test launch of an air to air missile, and its major objective was to test the S 70's capability in air to air combat. According to the Russian side, the ultimate goal of this drone will be to be able to face the US F 35, or perhaps the F 22 head on. Reporting from Defense View, the S 70 initially used the AL 31 F engine placed on the Su-27 fighter in terms of power. Later versions opted for the AL-41F engine, reduced and enhanced performance with the vector nozzle used by the Su-57. The highest thrust can reach 147 km. This drone can attain a top flight speed of 1,000 km per hour with adequate power. It is conceivable to accomplish supersonic flying on its automated version in the future, with a range of roughly 6,000 kilometers. The S-70's premiere was at the NAK's 2019 International Aviation and Space Show, where Sukhoi unveiled its flying wing design layout. According to the staff introduction, this UAV utilized various technology on the Su-57 fighter jet during the development phase. The fuselage is coated with a stealth coat, and several unique materials are used. The radar reflecting area is limited during flight and has full stop. The S-70 exhibited today is one of two forms, a traditional unmanned fighter that relies on ground control stations for control, and may also be employed as a deputy application for the Su-57 fighter, which is somewhat similar to the faithful wing that they States of America. On the other hand, the other version will be outfitted with an AI system capable of flying and battling in autonomous mode. 